Hello and welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the step two of the setup of Selenium development environment, which is installing the IDE, Integrated Development Environment. And with our tutorial series, because this is the uh, tutorial series of Selenium WebDriver with Java, so we'll be going ahead with the Eclipse, which is open source development environment or integrated development environment kit and um, you you will be you know like getting it freely and most of the companies nowadays are using eclipse if you are doing any development in java there is another version uh, intellij idea which is um, uh, from another company it has the free and pro versions as well but because eclipse is freely available so it is very popular and highly used in the uh, you know java development and selenium automation now what exactly these ids are so uh, you need some you know uh, sort of editor to write your code and execute your code right so if you're doing any programming language you need some sort of editor so eclipse is basically an editor wherein you will write your program you will execute your program debug your program and that's why we need the id so that we have an editor to write the program and execute our you know program so in our case because we are doing selenium automation so we'll be writing our automation scripts uh, which are the java files in our eclipse id and then executing those in the eclipse itself now to install eclipse id the prerequisite is jdk and we have seen how you can install jdk in the previous tutorial right so uh, JDK we have seen uh, you know you can go to the uh, oracle.com website and download uh, the JDK and depending you know th there are new versions always coming so whatever is the latest version you can go ahead with the JDK and install it uh, if you haven't gone or if you want to get the detail of how to install J uh, JDK and Java go to the first step or the previous tutorial that we have covered in this series now the second step is to install the id so uh, same step go to google.com to get the eclipse id download right file so simply just type eclipse uh, download and you will see eclipse.org if click on eclipse download link here right and you will see uh, the latest version of the eclipse right so here you can see that um, this is sort of eclipse id uh, which is uh, you know download 64 bit now if you have 64 bit operating system go ahead with that but it's good to go to download packages and see the specific version that you that is good enough for you to start the automation right so you don't need all different you know uh, there are so many flavors of eclipse id which are required for different sort of you know um, uh, uh, development so c c plus uh, plus developers have the id as well in our case we are just interested into eclipse id for java developers there are other flavors of enterprise java developer which um, we you you can download but this is good enough for your selenium automation so selen eclipse id for java developer now depending on what um, you know windows uh, platform you have or if it is a 32 bit or 64 bit you need to download accordingly so i am having 64 bit uh, if you want to check you can simply go to my computer right click click on properties and you will see the system type so this is 64-bit operating system so i'll go ahead and download windows 64-bit eclipse id for java developers and just click on download and start downloading the file for me okay i'll save it in the downloads folder once the download is finished we'll go ahead and see how you can configure eclipse in your machine okay so download is complete now let me open the folder where the file has been downloaded so now in order to use eclipse or configure eclipse you don't have to do anything else you simply have to unzip this file on uh, your machine so i'll copy this file in the specific folder so i'll copy it in the c drive here and 
then unzip all the files okay so just right click and extract to this particular folder right and once the files have been extracted simply go to that particular folder you will see eclipse folder and you can simply go ahead and launch eclipse.exe and you will see eclipse id will be launched okay now the next step after you launch your eclipse is to select the directory as a workspace so where all your work is going to be saved so by default it has picked up you know the location i'll change this location to the c drive and we'll create some workspace here right so we'll create a folder and then we'll put the files there okay so i'll simply right um, create the folder right click new folder and i'll say uh, eclipse workspace okay i'll select that and now all my you know like projects and all the work will be located at this particular location and i'll click on launch okay once eclipse has launched you can see uh, the welcome page wherein you have the tutorial samples overview if you want to read and go ahead and learn more about you know eclipse id you can go through these tutorials and learn more about it however as part of you know uh, this particular tutorial series you will anyways uh, be getting a lot more details about the eclipse and how to you know use it as part of selenium web driver automation so if you are curious about to learn more you can go ahead and explore more about this eclipse id i'll simply close this welcome window and now you will see you can create a java project or create other sort of projects or import the projects right so that's the next step when we start creating our project and configure the selenium web driver okay prior to that i'll simply close eclipse okay i'll exit it and do a bit of cleanup so here you can see i have you know this eclipse folder within the folder so i'll simply cut it and move it to c drive rather than having that lengthy path i'll simply move it to c slash eclipse and my eclipse workspace is here so an eclipse has moved out here right so i can simply go ahead and delete this folder which is not required so eclipse uh, executable is here all my work will be in the eclipse workspace right which looks more cleaner so that's pretty much all about installing the eclipse id which is the step number two in our tutorial series let me open the setup document here so you can see that we have configured uh, we have installed jdk and configured the java path and we have also installed eclipse id and configured it so there is no configuration as such involved but we know now know how you are, you will be configuring your step one and two in the next tutorial we'll see how you can create a new java project and configure selenium jars and the browser drivers so that's pretty much all about installing eclipse on your windows machine hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching